Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Grade Four Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? We have been learning about different types of patterns. So a pattern can be a sequence of numbers, shapes, or letters. And we know we can create beautiful designs by repeating shapes. Now, what do you mean by a tessellation? A tessellation is when we create a design by repetition of geometric shapes without leaving any gaps or overlaps in between. Now, when we create a design by repetition of geometric shapes without leaving any gaps or overlaps in between, it's called a tiling or a tessellation. You can see a few examples of tessellations here. Here, there is a tessellation of triangles. This is one made of hexagons. This is one tessellation with triangles again. This is one with squares. This is one with triangles again. And here, we have one more tessellation made with hexagons. So these are a few examples of tessellations or tilings. Now let's see some real life examples of tessellations. See, the simple example, I'm sure all of you have seen beautiful floor tile patterns like this. We can see the tiles are arranged beautifully to create a design or pattern. And they are arranged without any gaps or overlaps in between and the shapes are repeating. So this is one example of a tessellation. Now here is one more. You all have seen a brick wall. The same shape is repeating. So a brick wall is also an example of tessellation. Now this is one classic example of tessellation in nature. This is a honeycomb. We can see how beautifully the hexagonal cells are arranged to form a beautiful pattern. So the honeycomb is an example of tessellation that you can see in nature. And you can see tessellations in vegetables or fruits as well. Now, this is the skin of a pineapple. See a beautiful design there? That's also an example of a tessellation that you can see in nature. The scales of a snake. You see how the scales are arranged to form a pattern, a beautiful design. The scales of a snake is also an example of tessellations that you can see in nature. Now, we said that in a tessellation, the shapes repeat. And the shapes meet at points or corner points to form vertices. So, all the corners of a tessellation pattern meet at a point called vertex. Here is one vertex, here is another one, here is another one. See this vertex here. This vertex is shared by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 triangles. So one vertex here is shared by 6 triangles. Look at this tessellation here. This is one made with squares and octagons. See this vertex here? This vertex is shared by this square and 2 octagons. So that's about the vertex in a tessellation. Now, the different types of tessellations. Tessellations can be regular or semi-regular tessellations. So what do you mean by a regular tessellation? A regular tessellation is one which is made up of only one type of regular polygon, such as regular polygons such as squares, hexagons or triangles. You have a few examples here. These are examples of regular tessellations. Here is a regular tessellation made with the regular polygon square. Here is one made with triangles. Here is one made with hexagons. Now what is semi-regular tessellation? A semi-regular tessellation is one which is made up of two or more regular polygons. Here are a few examples. See this tessellation here? This one is made up of squares and triangles. This is also another tessellation made up of squares and triangles. And here, this one is made up of squares and octagons. So these are examples of semi-regular tessellations. Now, we have to take care of a few things when we are trying to create tessellations or tiling patterns. Rule number one, the tessellation must tile the surface without any gaps or overlaps in between. What do you mean by tile? You have to cover. So when you are trying to create a tessellation, the tessellation must tile or cover the surface without any gaps or overlaps in between. Now rule number two, the tiles must be regular polygons of the same size. So the shapes which are tessellating, all the shapes should be of the same size. And the shapes must be regular polygons as well. Now rule number three. 
each vertex must look the same. The tessellation should look the same at each vertex. So you have to take care of these three things when you're trying to create a tessellation or a tiling. Now, you can go through the topic tessellation in page number 119 and 120 of your textbook. You go through the topic once again, then you have to complete an exercise. Exercise 8.2. The first question is, color the following to form a beautiful tessellation pattern. So two patterns are already given there. You have to color each of these patterns in such a way that it will create a beautiful tessellation. So the colors must repeat at regular points. Now question number two is create your own tessellation pattern and color it. So you can draw a tessellation pattern of your own with any shape. You can use different shapes such as squares, triangles, hexagons, octagons, whichever you like and you can create a beautiful tessellation pattern. You can draw it there and you have to color it. Once you're done with the homework, take a picture and do send us to teams. So that's all for today, children. Hope you are clear with the topics we learned today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.